After completing your solution questions, you should move on to your local questions, the ones that begin with if. So we have one here, if freedom makes its voyage to Trinidad in week five, which of the following could be true? So it's a could be true local question as well. Most local questions require us to make a new sketch. So that's what we're gonna do. Put your spaces down and then put the T into five as the if instructs. Now this is going to have two immediate effects. The first is it's going to block T from spaces four and six because if there's a T in five and seven, you can't have T's consecutively. It's also gonna block J from slot six because J has to have a G in front of it, so it can't go into slot six by itself. There, there would be a T in front of it. Okay, so now we need to consider where our GJ block is gonna go and that MGM chain, where it's gonna go. Now it's certainly possible to put the GJ block inside that chain. The M inside the GJM. We have five spaces left to play within our sketch. We could try to keep that MGM chain separate from the GJ block. In other words, put G and J up front and then follow them up with MGM. Now in that scenario, that would be all five spaces. You'd have GJ, MGM. So since there's two ways that I can make the block and the chain interact, I'm probably just gonna to need to do a sketch for each of them. So as we just said, one of the ways that this could work out be if we put the GJ block up front, followed up by MGM in the remaining spaces. Now the other way it could work, if we have M followed by a GJ and then at some point later an M, the latest that J could ever go would be third because he's not allowed fourth because of a rule. So if we were to put that scenario in play, J would have to go third, G would be right in front of him, and M would be forced up to the first space. And then we would know that we needed another M either in four or six. That can't be both of them because you only get two Ms. And so if you only get one more M for the back of the sketch there, you would know that either it's an M or a G in space four, and then whichever one you don't use will go into space six. So there's two major scenarios that we could draw here. After all that work, the question should go relatively easily. Answer choice A says, Freedom makes a voyage to Trinidad in week one. We'd say no, it's either M or G. B, Freedom goes to Martinique in week two. No, that GJ block is gonna block space two. C, Freedom makes a voyage to G in week three. No, it either has to be a J or an M. D, Freedom makes a voyage to Martinique in week four. Well, sure, in the scenario that we drew on the left there, that could happen. Since it can happen, it's our answer, because we are looking for what could be true. When you found your answer, you really should stop looking at answer choices, but just for educational purposes, answer choice E says, Freedom goes to Jamaica in week six. And we know we knew a long time ago that couldn't happen because, because if you have a T in five and seven, there's no way you can fit a J in between it because J always carries a G. So the answer is D.